Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in digital electronics series. In today's interesting tutorial, I have compiled a list of 5-bit BCD codes and you'll also find BCD codes which are more than 5 bits long. So I'll start out with the first code which is a 2 out of 5 BCD code and by the way uh, all the decimal numbers are represented using a code whose length is 5 bit long and the only permissible symbols are going to be 0 and 1 and that is why they are known as binary coded uh, of course decimal so each decimal number will be represented using 5 or more bits but they'll have a unique you know combination which will make it a separate code the first code that we discussed today is the 2 out of 5 code it's a fixed code the rationale behind the code is not known to me however in this code only 2 bits out of the 5 bits are kept as 1 for each decimal number for example a 0 is represented using triple zero one one then one is represented using so you can see the number of ones appearing in the code are two so out of five two are one so I'll write down codes for the entire decimal set three is going to be this 4 is 5 is 1 now it's a pretty unique code which could be used as a cipher code to transmit data because uh, all the codes are uniquely identified as a code which has only two bits as one then we have 63210 code of course the weights are assigned here for the five bits zero is represented as this one has this because we need to keep the weight of 1 as true or present at this position 2 will be this 3 will be a 1 placed at this position which carries a weight 3 and 4 is going to be 3 and 1 5 is going to be 3 and 2 6 is going to be yes 1 placed at the weight of 6 7 is going to be 6 plus 1 8 is going to be 6 plus 0 oh, I'm sorry 6 plus 2 9 is going to be 6 and 3 so this is pretty simple We've discussed 4-bit PCD codes in the previous tutorial. You simply need to put a 1 where you put on a weight to uh, get the decimal number. Then we have another unique kind of a BCD code which is a shift counter where 0 is represented using 5 zeros and then 1 will start introducing a 1 in the least significant place and then one will start to propagate toward in the left direction so all the ones are being shifted now new ones are being entered at every stage as we move uh, forward in the decimal positions 
and 5 is going to be all 1's 6 is going to be 1 flushed out of this and then 7 is going to be this 8 1 1 triple 0 and 9 is going to be 1 0 0 another unique code then we have 8 4 2 uh, 8 6 4 2 1 again weights are assigned to each bit so you simply uh, generate the decimal number by assigning the weight as 1 in the appropriate position so 0 is going to be 0 1 is going to be 0 0 0 0 1 2 will be this 3 is going to be 2 plus 1 4 will be and then 5 is 4 plus 1 6 is 0 1 0 0 0 7 is 6 plus 1 8 is this and 9 is 8 plus 1 then we have 5 1 1 1 1 so 0 again becomes 0 0 0 0 5 times 1 is 2 will be and 3 will be this 4 will be this 5 is going to be a 1 placed at 5's weight 6 and then 7 and then 8 and then 9 will have all 1's adding up to 9 then we have more than 5 bit codes the first in the line is 5043210 where 0 will have a 1 at the positions where 0 is there then we have 1. simply put on 1 at the weights position to get the decimal number okay then we have 543210 code it's a 6 bit code you generate the numbers by putting a 1 to the assigned weight I'll fill up the table it's pretty elementary alright I've filled up the tables you need to take care of this code here where you simply need to assign a 1 at the position where the weight is 5 and also you need to assign a 1 where the position of the weight is 0 and then we have a 10 bit BCD code where uh, each position is assigned a unique decimal weight so you start off with uh, 9 times zeros and 1 and then you keep on assigning the weight to the decimal place which corresponds to the decimal number it is the most elementary but it is the longest so it's a 10 bit code uh, for example if you wish to represent 9 you simply put a 1 at the position where the weight is 9 so that is how these unique codes are made and they are used for encryption purposes used to send data in different formats and i hope this interesting tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye